I see a lot of confusion online about calibrating the Moza wheelbase in Windows. I did a troubleshooting guide for Moza, but I skipped the actual process on how to calibrate it in Windows. What you have to do is to search for game controllers or a control panel in Windows and find your Moza R5 base. Click properties. And here is the issue for many people. You don't see which axis belong to which device. So the best way how to do it is to make a note first. Go to settings and reset to default. Then go back to test tab and make note which axis belongs to which pedal. We are going to calibrate only the axis, not buttons. So I will be calibrating my wheel rotation and throttle and brake pedal. You can also have a clutch pedal or a handbrake. These are additional axes and you have to make note which one belongs to which axis. So my throttle belongs to Z axis and my brake belongs to Z rotation. The wheel rotation is on Y axis. So let's start with the calibration. Go to settings and calibrate. Click next and now the tool is asking to center the handle and press the button. Center the wheel and press any button. Now go with your wheel to one side and to the other and then go to center and click next. Leave the wheel in the center, click next. Now we have a Z axis. If you remember, the Z axis for me was the throttle, so I will press the throttle a few times and then hit next. X rotation is nothing for me, so I can skip this. Next. Y rotation is also nothing. Next. Z rotation was my brake pedal, so I will press the brake pedal a few times fully. Then hit next, slider, I don't need it, dial, nothing, and we can click finish. Then hit apply, and you can see that the cross is now in the middle, so my wheel should be calibrated, the rotation of the wheel. The throttle is on Z axis, and the brake is on Z rotation. So if you have additional clutch pedal or a handbrake, you will have additional axis to calibrate. Buttons are working as well. So we are done. And if you still have issue or you just uh, did something wrong during the calibration, go back to settings and uh, click reset to default. And if you haven't seen my troubleshooting guide, go to Moza Racing YouTube channel and check it out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.